So, welcome to our little home. Now, some of you may have seen an earlier video of when we first arrived here in France, and um, you saw what it was like then. So I'm just going to take you around and explain one or two things that we've done. Okay. First thing to say is that um, this had never been used as a living place, well, not for people anyway, prior to us arriving here. So animals lived on this floor, and when we arrived it was an earth floor, so we had to we had to dig down quite a bit because the ceiling is quite low, as you can tell. Um, although now there's plenty of height. I think at the beams it's around two metres and in between the beams it's a bit higher than that. So it's plenty of height. Kind of skateboard thing that's uh, attached there to the ceiling. That was there already, we call it the skateboard. Hung a little star there so people don't bang their heads on it. And uh, that's the lowest point. But actually it's not too bad. I can get underneath it. I'm just under it now so it's not that bad. And um, that was there because this was a carpenter's workshop, but that's obviously been put in there to strengthen that beam. There was a huge fireplace on the floor above at one time, not when not when we came. And uh, so I think that was holding up the fireplace. Um, but we had to dig down quite a lot and uh, move some huge stones as well. And then we uh, laid the floor, tiled the floor. Um, put some concrete down as well actually and uh, so it was very different in here it was also a lot darker I mean it tends to be a bit dark now I've not got any lights on at the moment sun is shining outside today um, and in summer this is a great place because it's cool so that's the advantage of it it is cooler but it was much darker when we arrived the only door we had was that one straight ahead and that was a solid door we've put uh, a window in there and uh, that window, I think that was the only window in the house that it stayed in its original place. So there was that. And then here, I'll just come round a little bit to the kitchen. Hopefully it'll lighten up as I come round. And that window was much smaller, so we put a bigger window in there. And here, the door we've just come through was a tiny little square hole. I don't know what it was for. It certainly wasn't a door or a window. It was low down, just a little square. So we put... Um, it's actually a window that we use it as a door <laughs> to give plenty of light and so we can see out down the garden which is nice and the walls, I'll just show you the walls the walls were originally all stone um, so we, in fact this wall I'm showing you at the moment wasn't a wall, it didn't exist that's the wall that separates off our shower and toilet which is through the door there and there's the staircase there in the corner so there was no staircase here at all, so Tom made the, the staircase. And uh, you might be able to see the handrail there. That was a branch. It's a, um, an oak branch cut from one of the oak trees in the garden. The, the walls were just, like I say, just stone. So we decided at one point we were thinking we were going to keep them like that. But because how dark it was, we thought, no, we want to lighten it up. And they weren't anything special either. So... We decided to render. So this is lime render, two coats of lime render. So I did quite a bit of this. That's nice. <laughs> Live the life you love. Can't argue with that. And uh, you might be able to make out, hopefully, that that kitchen sort of unit there in the middle. That's actually made out of barrels that were here in the house already. There were these two huge barrels. Um, they had to be dismantled to take them out of the house anyway. And uh, our old neighbour next door suggested they make uh, nice flower tubs, but they would have been enormous. And so we decided actually we needed the wood. So we used the wood in the house in various places. And that's one of the places we used it. Um, the kitchen work surfaces are chestnut. I think they're both chestnut. And that was, again, wood that was here. We tried to use things as much as possible because we had, well, we didn't have that much money. And so... We used what was here as much as we could, but also that's what we wanted to do. It's also kind of like our philosophy anyway, to use things and try not to buy new when you can. So it worked well for us. I just uh, This is our kitchen area. It's all part of one, it's, it's kitchen dining. There's the shelves. Again, this is wood that was here. We made the shelves. And various things there, spices and things over there, and a few pans. Got our frying pans hung up. 
I've tried not to tidy up. I did tidy a tiny bit, but this is really how it is. I'm trying to keep it real. And uh, that's uh, our very old cooker that we got from a truck for, I think it was about 50 euros. When we first came, our next door neighbours that we bought the house from, they gave us a very old cooker that they'd bought with them from Algeria. And we used that for several years. So that's just like the next model up. Um, as you can see, we don't have any kitchen cupboards. It's all open shelving, which um, I like, or we both like, actually. It's very easy to see where everything is. Um, but then everybody else can see where everything is as well. So it can be a bit messy looking, I guess. And then washing machines there. You've seen that in a previous video. It's a bit messy, this corner. But this is kind of like, I suppose it's like um, a pantry area. It's the best way to describe it. Ends up with other things in as well. So some veg and stuff there. Lots of jars of things. Zoom in on the garlic. And... Uh, and then because you come down here, we've actually got messy things, got boots and stuff like that. One day we're hoping to make a little sort of conservatory covered glass area out here and then boots and things could go into that. And I think the only other thing I really want to say about the kitchen is that we tried to place things. As you can see, it's very small. It's actually designed really so only one person could be in it at a time. And um, everything's really within reach. I love small kitchens. They're so easy to work in. And uh, we tried to sort of think where things were placed. So here, obviously, you've got your sink there and everything, your pots. And then you just put them away up there. You don't have to walk around a lot. Um, not that you could walk very far in this house, but everything's kind of um, just where it should be for us. Sure, it would be different. If you came, you'd be looking for everything and it wouldn't be in the right place couple little plants down there brought them inside because this morning slug got one of the leaves on that two courgette plants they are but i don't think that one's going to survive with only half a leaf we'll see something some friends made for me out of yogurt pots and little candles go in there be quite nice we've still got the fire Got some croissants, gonna have some croissants with our coffee again. We're still celebrating the bakery opening, that's what a lot of this is. We don't have croissants that often, actually. So, that's our little stove which replaced the original old stove that we've put in that you can see in an early video. But this one is so much more efficient, it's actually warm, it tends to warm the whole house. So, that's really good. Little wood stove, some lilac there. Just flowering now in the garden, so I've just brought some in. Baskets up there, and uh, pans and things. Uh, there was no ceiling. Tom put this. Uh, well, I helped as well actually put this ceiling in. So there, you've seen the bottom floor of our house. Well, apart from the toilet and shower, which I'll show you sometime. Um, the square footage here is about 25 meters squared. And that's the same for each floor. So we've got a living room above this and then our bedroom at the top. So it is quite a small house, and uh, but it works really well. And I think the main thing that I feel like, I was trying to think with this video, what is it I want to communicate really? Yeah, it's nice to show someone around your house and um, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of a nice thing to do. But I was thinking, what is the thing that I'm really trying to communicate with this video? And I think for me, it's about, I think it's about using things that you already have. You don't need lots of new things. You don't need to buy things all the time. We can manage with what we've got. We've got plenty. When we arrived here, we had the things that we could fit into our camper van. And then we had all the materials that were here on site. So the windows, we moved from the barn. The barn was very dilapidated, So, but the windows in this um, house were worse in the worst condition so we used things that we found in the barn we rescued the stove from the barn the original stove and we sort of put that back together again and painted it and we used that for three years um, the the wood the doors everything's come from around here the main things we had to buy to renovate the house was sand and lime we used a lot of lime on the walls and sand and we underestimated that how much we'd need and we did use some cement on the floor. We decided in the end that was what we would use there. Um, we bought new tiles and we bought some new boarding, like for this ceiling, for instance. But we tried to keep the new things really to a minimum. 
And yes, we didn't have much money, but it was also because that's what we thought was a good thing to do. So we live fine like this. There's no nothing about fashion or anything. If there's a fashion, it's, it's our own fashion, which is a bit random, I guess. Um, but we're perfectly comfortable and perfectly happy with it. We don't feel the need to redecorate all the time. If I need to redecorate, it's just a case of mixing some lime paint and putting freshening the walls up, really. And uh, and then that doesn't involve having to change everything and uh, you know get new everything or whatever. It's it's fine like this. So I think um, yeah, I just wanted to communicate that I think because I, I feel like in you know at the moment or maybe maybe it's been for the last few years and it just seems to have got even more like that is there's such pressure on people to have things a certain way and feel that their house isn't good enough if it's not like this or that and changing with the latest fashions and things like that and you know really it's it's just nonsense just you can do what you want with your home it's your home and I feel like you should make our homes how we want them it's not for other people it's for us so yes ours is rustic and everything and it's for us and we love it so that's fine and people are always welcome here and um and i think more that's what a home's about is about um sharing other things like company food love whatever it's not about what you've got so i think that's maybe something i feel quite strongly about and i uh, wanted to try and communicate in this video and uh yeah so Oh, <laughs> okay, bye.